everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If there are two things that I love, it is rose quartz and cheap DIYs. I have wanted a set of rose quartz makeup brushes for a while. I thought it would be something that I could DIY. I thought it would be very cheap. So these brushes are dollar brushes, they're elf brushes. I'm thinking that if you guys have a set of brushes that you maybe aren't using or you wanna like upcycle, this would be perfect for that. So the brushes are a dollar each, the paint is a dollar. You just can't go wrong. Let's hop into this DIY. I hope that you guys enjoy it and uh, I'll stop labbing. Okay, so these are the brushes that I'm going to be using. Again, they are super, super cheap, super affordable. I know in Canada, you can actually get them at the dollar store, um, in America, Target. I'm not sure about overseas, but they are pretty readily available. Um, so I got five, I got white. Uh, they don't need to be white because we are going to be painting them pink. If you already have a pink set that we can just use for this DIY, perfect. But I am gonna be painting these pink. So I am prepping by just taking some painter's tape and just wrapping this around. This just makes our life so much easier. Again, you don't have to do this, but you can if you'd like, uh, just to ensure that we don't get paint anywhere. I'm a little bit of a sloppy painter, so. Um, again, this paint is really cheap dollar store paint, acrylic paint, so I had to do about four layers in total. I wasn't too upset because the paint was really affordable, but if you maybe have paint laying around the house that you could use that's a little bit better, then I would totally suggest that. But I wanted to keep this DIY really cheap. So this is what the brushes look like. I think they look really pretty even just like that. Then I've just taken some water in this cup and this is my white paint in this one. I just thought it'd be more readily, easily available in those. Um, and then I have a paper towel and a very fine brush. You want it to be very fine because essentially what we're doing, I like to call it that we're, we're drawing um, like lightning bolts. Um, the more messier they are, the better. So you don't want perfect curves. You kind of want messy, so to speak. Um, and I really liked this technique where you kind of draw it out from the other one. I thought that looked really nice. Then I'm just dipping into the water and I'm actually going over where I painted. So you want to have it kind of look blurry. So that's why I'm going into the water. Some spots, I don't blur out all of them, but for the most part, it does look really pretty and give that rose quartz effect if you are blurring it out. Um, I get in a little bit closer in a second. I just kind of wanted to talk you guys through it before I actually got in close. So again, we are just going in and drawing that first line and then we're gonna draw a line out from that. And you can make these lines as big, as small as you want. Um, so you can see here like better that I dipped in the water and just how like blended it gets. Like I said, really gives it that rose quartz effect. Towards the end, I kind of liked to have the end of the handle more like, I don't know, white? Because some rose quartz, it's not just all lines. Some of it's like kind of bigger, lighter white spots. So that's kind of what I'm doing right there. So then you can go ahead and finish the rest of your brushes. The last step is to take some clear or transparent spray paint just to seal all the paint in. I suppose you could use some clear nail polish if you wanted to as well. I'm really excited with how this DIY turned out. I have wanted rose quartz makeup brushes for so long and it's something that I totally thought was DIYable. Easy, cheap rose quartz, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.